2016 1.16 p.m. We have a weekly chart on the S&P 500. And we're also going to cover the put side of the S&P and how they are going to pay. And we did have this top reversal here, and it was narrow range. The thing that I want to focus on with our other guys is one thing. And we had already said this. So here's the reversal. The white line is a 50-week moving average. And that beige line is a 100-week moving average. And it was in the retail world, we would call this a weekly doji. We came straight right back up today. Um, one of the things that we're going to be looking at again is we're looking at two things. Number one is Memorial Week, basically, because people are a lot of people won't be trading Friday, and you know some people will take it off. And 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 here's the trend lines going up here right now. And so basically. We're also going to do, um, we're going to pull this down for you. So we got above the 10-week uh, moving average. We were below it. And they use an algorithm, a high-frequency algorithm in the S&P 500 stocks to be able to do that. So let's go back over here at the 50-week is 2024. That 100-week is 2030. Now, you'll notice that when we came down here and we were telling people consistently if we go below 2043 that there would be a problem in what? The S&P 500. So basically, this is the whole week as of these couple of days. They had a rally yesterday and the day before. Now, we're going to take a look at some S&P 500 put options for our um, MMTs that specialize in the S&P 500 index, whether it's calls or puts. But here we have a 2095 put. And basically, if you take a look, and this is a put chart, and all of you that are viewing this, you know that you haven't seen a call chart, you know you haven't seen a put chart, but you're you know, a big option trader. Come on, give me a break, man. Um, yesterday's high, $33. Today's low is $9.50. And this is the contract here that we're going to be buying. We've already made a purchase on that S&P. And we'll show you another S&P. Um, and we'll show you what the uh, 2090 put. Um, you can see here, this is a put chart, people, and this is a 2090 strike price. Am I making myself clear? And it's a 531 expiration. And this contract is totally deflated. There will be a change in momentum. The low was 780. Yesterday's high is $26. Do you think I have a lot of risk? No, I don't. The risk was for people up here, that $50, or, or people that bought it here, the big money had trades here, and now they're in the what? Super house of pain, and we're going to buy the other side of that misery. We're going to buy the other side of that pain. We're going to buy the other side of all the losers out there, and we know what we're doing, and that's a 2090, uh, 2090 put option. We also have a 2100, which is in the money. And here is a 2100 put option right here. Yesterday at $37 a contract. Right now, today, the low was 1210. And that is a 2100 put option on the S&P. And you can clearly see right here that this one was $25 it had a range of 5.2. The low was $12.10. And we have uh, bids that we'll be putting out there tomorrow based on the uh, futures in the S&P. And the thing that I'm showing you here right now today is how deflated that a put chart of 2100 on that S&P has done us gratefully. Because look at here. Look, this is a 2090. 
And so basically, when we start taking a look at deflated, here's yesterday. Hey, the big players on the S&P, this is $33 a contract. Do you think I have a lot of risk down here at $9 and a half? Once again, I don't think so. And, you know, the whole thing about it is, is that, listen, whether it's equities, um, we are market makers in the S&P 500 uh, call options and put options. And once again, um, this is where they closed today. That was a totally deflated figure. And, you know, based on what the uh, S&P is doing on a daily chart, which I'm going to throw that right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow this up on a daily chart. There's that zoom tool. And these are trend lines that we've had in here forever. So let's just blow this up on a daily. And let's go ahead and give us a con uh, horizontal trend line up here at the high. And, you know, here was the low. So you had three days, four days, five days. And this was a reversal trend. Actually, I want to make it very clear to you people is that at this point in time, we were below the daily simple moving averages, the 10, the 50 day, the 20, the 40 day. And we were down here on that low. And that is where we were in a correction. And this is a counter five-day rally for Memorial Day. And what I'm saying is we're hitting that wall of resistance. And we are going to make a boatload and a ton of money. And we're going to be buying these tomorrow morning on the opening bell based on what the futures are. If the futures are up. Then they're going to drop this big down here, and we would love to take this at about $4.60, pal. And the only market makers on this is the CBO. Once again, I'm going to conclude the weekly chart, the daily chart on the S&P 500, and I'm showing you the super big trades that we're going to make. And just remember one thing. We do this before the fact. This is not done after the fact or, you know, all that crap that you see on TV and, you know, all the bull crap that people talk about moves after they've already made the move. That doesn't make money and it doesn't. So, you know, the S&P was broke right here and now they've got it back up here at a resistance. It's called a super algorithmic uh, programs that are used by the exchanges and we're going to hit this uh, resistance. This is what we call a counter move and that counter move just so you know is we want to make sure here. So let's just get once again let's just get this part of it up and this is going to be the top right here. So here we are. This is going to be the top over here. And this is where we had that correction. And this counter rally, as you can see, I'm going to give you a trend line for you retail people. Our, our decisions are not made on a retail level. We're, you know, we are market makers in, in, in these things. And that's who we are, what we are. And, of course, you know, I'm going to be showing um, where the lower end, that's going to be right about there. And so this is where we're going. And this is why we're buying the S&P 500 put options that I have shown you. 2090 put. Here is a 2095 put. They were $30. I'm just going to show you right now, pal. Hey, they were $30.75 yesterday at the close. And today they're nine fifty, And that's totally deflated. Am I retail? No, I'm not. I am wholesale to make a lot of money as always.